in this video we are going to talk about how you can use index and match function this is one of the important functions and trust me after watching this video you will be able to dynamically play with your data by using these functions and after learning this video if you do have any question you can comment below and if you want to thank us for creating this video please do thank us and please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel click on below bell icon to get the notifications so before we start i am going to talk about match function then i'm going to talk about index function then we are going to use combination of both okay so let's understand match function so match function what you need to do you need to write match function equal to sign match function okay let's understand these three arguments okay first is the lookup value then lookup array then match term. so lookup value is basically a value which you are going to find in the lookup array okay and what does this lookup array mean the database from where you want to find this and match function basically helps you to find the location of the lookup value it could be horizontal it could be vertical but when you are mentioning the range in the vertical then it should be only uh, it will be finding the location from the vertical range okay and if you are mentioning your range horizontally then it will be giving you the horizontal range number okay that is the column number okay so lookup value so we have this lookup value gunjan sharma then we have this lookup array okay lookup array is my database so i can select entire this database or i can select the entire uh, this column starting from a1 cell okay so you need to remember it will give the relevant position from the range okay if it is starting from second row okay and ending at 11th row and this value exists at sixth location then it will give you the location six starting from second okay it will consider that second row as first cell okay so you need to be smart with that so i am mentioning a1 okay because i want to have the exact location or i can just press f4 to fix this range then i need to put comma okay now here we have three options in this argument one is less than second is exact match and third is greater than so less than and greater than you can use when you want to find the numbers okay in the database suppose if you are finding 10000 and if that 10000 does not exist in the database then what it will do it will find the lesser than value or greater than value as per the specified option in this argument so that is how you can use this match function but here we are finding the text so we should write exact match and then press enter it is telling me it is available at seventh row okay that is gunjan sharma now let me go back okay suppose if you want to use wild character you can use that let me uh, because it is uh, validation so let me put gunjan here okay and let me go back to this cell now what we are going to do i am just going to change this cell this lookup value cell and i'm pressing end symbol then putting a star symbol so here i have used a star symbol as while character to pull the value out so that is how you can use while character if you want to learn more about these while character you can just watch my count if video or some if video where you can learn this okay now we are going to talk about excel index function excel index function is used when you want to pull out the array range with the help of formula okay you can either pull a cell value or you can pull all the array range values with the help of index function now let's understand how to write this function once you type index function it is going to ask you or it is going to show you two uh, two kind of arguments okay one is array row number column number and second is the reference so array is a database from where you want to pull out the value okay so suppose if i want to pull out the value from this entire data range okay I can just fix this range by pressing F4 then I press comma so now if you talk about this row number and column number okay here you need to define the row number if you type fifth row okay and you press enter okay from this entire database it will pull out all the values from fifth row okay it will pull all these values David A1042736 till HR it will pull all the values okay but uh, you can see that i am using on the right side some other values so it will not pull out uh, other values it will just show the error so what i can do i can just use the same method for column okay because at bottom i do not have any values so i press comma then i have this column number and if i press fifth column okay or seventh column or sixth column it will pull out all the values from that column similarly 
the what I spoke about the row. Okay, let me press enter. Now you can see it has pulled all the values. Okay, so I have selected this range A one till F eleven. Okay, so it is considering A as a first column. Okay, and it will calculate the fifth column from A and then pull out the value. Now let's understand this. First, second, third, fourth, fifth column. Okay. So it is pulling out all the values from the fifth column. Suppose if I have changed this range, okay, like A to B, then it will pull out the department column. Okay, let me press enter because I have shifted one column. Okay, so that is how you can use index functions. So now let me undo this and press A here, and once I press enter, it is pulling out all the data from the fifth column. Okay, if I specify the row, okay. Then what it will do? It will take the intersection point, sixth row, fifth column, okay, and then it will be taking out their value. So let me write six and let me press enter. It is beneath thing, okay. So you can see it is fifth column and sixth row. So that is how we are going to use index and match function in the combination. Now what we are going to do? We are going to type index function, and here we need to select this Gunjan Sharma, okay. Row number we need to play dynamically with this. Either you can just link this uh, with this cell, or you can just uh, write match function and uh, just use that M5. Then look up array from here and uh, press F4 to fix this. Then press zero for the exact match and then press enter. Okay. And when you do that, it is just showing me the error because I need to put the column number as well. So column number because I want to pull out the salary, okay. So I want to pull out the salary from this data. So I need to put third column, or you can play dynamically with that also, okay. Like three, it is still showing me the error, okay. I just uh, observed one error here. I need to select this entire range, okay. So I need to fix that, and then I need to press enter. Now it is pulling out the salary. Suppose if I want to dynamically play with the salary and incentive column here, okay. So let me type salary here. Okay. So here you can see I'm mentioning this third column manually for salary column. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this and I want to play with this dynamically. Okay. Match. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find this salary in this horizontal range. Okay. The column number. Then pressing F4. Then pressing zero. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm I'm just closing this bracket and pressing enter. Okay, it is pulling salary. Suppose if I change this value to incentive. Okay, you can see it has changed. It has pulled out the value from the incentive column. And suppose if I change this to department. Okay, then it will pull out the department name. Okay, you just need to make sure that you have selected the entire range. Okay. So that is how you can play with this index and match function, and this is going to help you to create dynamic dashboards to play with uh, dynamic charts. Hope you like this video. If you like this, please do comment, please do like, please do share with your friends. And if you have question, you can still ask your questions in the comment section. I will answer those questions at the earliest. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye bye.